Meow and welcome back to Morrowind Monday. I am Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'm your host for this episode. As you might notice, might have noticed right now, I was a bit confused. I was looking at something in my to-do list, and it was like, where do, when did I put this in? Let me show you what I mean. When did I mark this as as green? When did I? I mean, I just finished the recording of the last episode. Did I accidentally click on this? Um, on the other hand, I was looking. I was thinking, maybe this is something we want to do. I mean, if I click on Tell Arun, we have we have done this part. So um, we. I mean, we do have this, and we also have this party of pilgrims were northeast, northwest of Mount Kand, and Mount Kand is somewhere here, and somewhere northwest should be here, east of Lake Nambia, Nambia, maybe this is where we, a place to go, go to Mount Kand, get into Asu, and Search for the stuff of Magnus, even though I'm sure, I'm kind of sure they already found it, and, uh, well. I'm unsure what to do, and you know what? I am actually going to go here. I'm going to go to Mount Kand and see uh, yourself, Molagmar. Molagmar should be reachable by Silstrider. So we're going to... Well, we don't have much money, do we? 39 gold, that's not much. Can sell, we could sell these two soul gems. Uh, because we don't need them. Yes, we can also... It's also another other quests. Uh, let me see, there was this... Bringing the ashes to to somewhere. Uh, let me see. It was damn it. This this episode starts with me being completely confused. I am sorry. Um, I don't know. It's gone. I am just going to head to Mount Kant. Hopefully, Welcome I will have enough money. What should we talk about? So, let's see. Since we're short on money, I'm going to walk Hello over from there. Vivek. How are Hello. You? I'm fine. I'm. Uh, do you sell stuff? Uh, buy stuff? That is no. Also, I turned up the brightness of my uh, monitor all the way, and now I'm actually able to see stuff properly. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. Thank you very much. I just want to be selling stuff. Okay, I'm listening. Make it quick, Outlander. No, I'm not going to make it quick. I'm just going to go away. The foreign quarter of Vivek. I am just going to. I'm going to use my skills, actually. I'm going to use my skills. First of all, I'm going to go straight to the bottom of this. And then we're going to water walk over to Suran. Because, as I said, we are short on money. And, of course, I ran down the wrong side. Well... Doesn't matter much. You know what? I'm just going to. I think. Really quick, so if I think if I jump into the water, I don't. I won't take any damage. Oh wait! I don't even need to think about jumping on the water. I can levitate. are heading over here. And we're also going to do water walking. 
as soon as we're low enough because if we fall into the water we can as I said I assume we don't take any damage if we fall into the water but if you fall onto the water if we have water walking on it means that the water for us is a uh, yeah well basically it's a floor so we will take falling damage if we fall into the water there we go now we can just walk over I completely forgot that we now have the ability to shorten our journeys. Just like this, we are also in an area that we haven't been before. And look, isn't it nice? Let me really quick rest here. I have no clue if there's enemies here. Well, there, there is this rat, for example. Which I can just grill, because grilled red meat tastes better. But I don't know about the people here, if they're friendly or if they're hostile. But I'm curious, it looks like the houses that you find in Balmora. I am curious if I... So this is just a farm. This is a farmhouse. They seem to be very temply. They have some food. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do something. I'm going to do them a little good. I'm going to leave a little bit of hound meat on their table. How about that? I just hey, I just gave you some food. Well, make it quick, Outlander. I did. I just put food on your table. Okay, let's see about the other house, because maybe they have something that I can do for them. After all, I'm a curious kitty. This is Piernet's farmhouse. Hello, ma'am. Do you have something I can do for you? No, it doesn't seem like so it. So what's this regarding? I was just checking if you have some work, if you want something done, you know, because I'm an adventurer. If someone walking there, that could be, of course, an enemy, like a bandit or something, or it's someone, just another farmer walking around. Let's see. They are actually wearing nice clothing, and there is this, this rat again. It's a different rat, obviously. Care to tell me what this is about? Uh, yes, ma'am. I was just uh, checking if there is someone here who has something for me. Oh, oh, someone having spells. Crushing burden, strong reflect, spell absorption. Spell absorption also is is quite interesting. Reflect also, and you, as you can see, reflecting twenty to thirty uh, percent for five seconds. It's super expensive. And she tra also trains, but I don't have the money. Well, no, I was just killing that rat. Thanks for showing me your offerings, or your offers, that is. Let's see, we're basically heading towards Suran anyway, and we need to pass it. Basically, we want to go, I guess, here somewhere, or we want to get onto the way to Nchilev Tingf. We will see where we will end. I'm not going to steal their crops. No, not that kind of guy. Oh, Dirara Drum. Um, Make it quick, Outlander. Yep, I'm already going away. I'm already making it quick. Um, here's a little little fact. To this. So this is her house. Um, she's been re very rude, so I'm just going to not give her any food. Um, if you were more nice, you would have gotten food. So, if you uh, watch The Shining, if you read The Shining, there will be there will be this joke regarding a red rum, which obviously in German doesn't work because the word in German is different, and so they they had to translate this pun. 
And in order to translate the pun, they changed the word from red rum to drome. So she's called the same her last name is the same word that is used that is basically the German red rum. That's basically her last name. That's what I wanted to say. Let us just cross the water here. Which means we are in Suran. And can now just continue on the road because I'm pretty sure it was here on the road to Yeah, then it didn't take a left, yes. On the road to Nshulefting. Because we had seen this group already. Wait a second, did we leave here? No, I think we walked like that. Who would win? Cliff races are annoying, but are they stronger than a bone walker? No, they are not. Now we know. And we can head on. And yes, I did not pick up the loot. I'm totally aware of that, and it was on purpose. Pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. So this is a cave, a mine, an egg mine, actually. Well, basically, basically it's a quama nest. And I assume it was here, because it's... I don't know where this lake is, actually. I did not mark the lake. I, I mean, I can't mark anything on my map if I want to, so... Oh, can, can I right press, middle press? No, I can't place a map marker manually. That would be kind of awesome. And I think in, in the older games you can actually just put notes on your map. But there is a signpost. And I think this is... Um, this is basically what I did. I, I was somewhere with the signpost and just wrote down what directions the signpost pointed to. So it is Mount Mount Kand this way. I'm going to heal up. Restore my magicka just by taking a catnap. Just checking if I'm still on the right way. Okay, and there is. I know that left over there. Yeah, there is. It's just waiting for the cliff racer to actually come. So it seems that corpses do despawn after a while. Um, the reason why I got used to not disposing of them was uh, my theory that when I don't dispose of a corpse it will hinder new spawns. But I th now I think this is not the case. That was a theory and does not feel like it's true. There's a scamp. I 
think I want to have a bone worker to fight against him. And the thing is that my summoning skills are too, too weak. So let's just first paralyze him and then kill him. That is, I actually don't know if it's a male scamp or a female scamp, so should be saying them. <coughs> I know. This group of pilgrims could, of course, be bandits that are just waiting for someone to help them. It's just east of Lake Kand. That will be here. And this lake is here. But this means... This is interesting. It could be right here. Or this is something... I mean, I did not check the map for quests, honestly. So it could just be kind of a leftover from before I switched to OpenMW. I'm unsure if I bet when I did I, I know I replayed and I took notes while I did so, so it might be... Well, if I, but if I replayed it, it should be on there. I'm really confused where this comes from. I really am. I do know that some things I know from the wiki, but not where there are random people that I can help. I think I did decline helping them, and so they might actually have, might be that the quest has ended in a negative way. Kind of, you declined to help them, so the quest is over, and I am going to despawn them. Uh, I'm still, I'm still a good, good part away. So I'm still not sure. Rest. Oh, oh, wait, it says rest. Didn't say until healed. That was interesting because I had lots of magic I lost. No, wait, it was just the green bar that was lost, right? There we go. Well, let's see who's stronger, Kuguti or Bone Lord. Seems like the Kuguti is pretty strong. Yeah. It's interesting that the Kaguti is stronger than the Bone Walker, not Bone Lord. I think it Bone Lord would be stronger. Well, anyhow, let us heal up again. I do like my magic up. This one must be blighted or something again. No, just wild. Okay. So let's see. We're practically here. This should be... Basically, we want to go... We want to be a little bit more... To the west. That was the wrong button, but nonetheless. It's weird. To be honest, I'm a little bit confused, and I think 
This is kind of obvious. Let me get over the mountain. Mount this. I mean, this is Mount Kand. This is. Oh yeah, this is Shuleftingf. Okay, so if I'm east of Mount Kand, that's here. Oh, and then maybe this is the lake that I'm looking for. Okay, I was... Interestingly enough, I was following the signs to Mount Kand. And I didn't arrive there. Did I misread one of the signs? Let me just head south here. This should connect to Mount Kand. Yeah, this is a touch spell, so uh, the cliff racer needs to be closer to me. There we go. My reach isn't high enough for that. A frost. Interesting. I never saw these actually spawn in the wild. But they should be suspect susceptible to fire damage. And they are very strong. I sh should have taken precautions. Well, on the other hand, it also saves when I sleep. So I shouldn't have lost that much progress. Did not. Also, it was yeah. I, I did sleep right right away uh, right before this happened. So let us see. Well, I'm just going to use uh, uh, Ryan's helper. If that happens again, that was a simple rat. The enemies on the map are getting stronger. I, I could have defeated him. Pretty sure. Okay, let's see. So now I'm passing it again. Let me see if I can take a left turn again. This is a very steep... Okay, I think I need to get around. I'm a little bit sorry for, for you having to endure me just walking around. Um, but you have to bear with me. Yeah, you have to bear this as just as I have to. I really didn't see the red, even though I cranked up the... I just want to say the volume, the visual volume all the way until healed. So now I'm heading, basically heading to Molagmar. And I guess I should have headed to Molagmar and the... Um, and then from there to Mount Kand and the pilgrims are there. This means Mount Kand should be the place with the riddles with the riddles and the Atronax. Oh nice, I contracted a blight because this is a blighted... Oh wow, drain attribute is very very high. Wow, this is a very strong... I'm looking for cure blight disease. Of course not. Of course not, and my strength is nearly none. Wow, this is this is a hard thing. On the other hand, I do know that things that I put into the world will stay there indefinitely. <sighs> but if I'm naked, nobody will talk to me. And I can't pick that up anymore. Well, that's my grumble grumble. 
how strong is my feather spell? Feather 20 points, that's not nearly enough. So I'm going to put this away and this away. These 10, as I said. That's just 2 points something. As I said, all this stuff will stay here indefinitely, so... I can just put things away, but there isn't that much to put away anymore. I mean, I mean, these things don't weigh a lot. It's like these. It's basically, basically my body. The weight of my body, because these is. Like four of these weigh one, that's nothing, that's 0 0.2. Or 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 2, 0 0.1. Yeah, it's basically, basically my body, which I'm carrying here. Oh, no, I've got a filter in. That's why I have a filter in, in because I know these weigh a little bit. That's four potions, two potions, which together weigh, have a good amount of weight. So four, four points of weight, there we go. What did I, what did I just, I just cast feather on myself, oh no. I'm going to do this. Mark and I'll see me intervention because usually in the temples there is a place there is a way to heal these diseases. So I'm going to see if I can actually heal this blight. Here I can sleep. And as, as you see, nobody will talk to me because they are afraid of contracting the disease themselves. As more people, I'm looking for a shrine. Which might kill the disease and then we can recall and pick everything up again. Let's all there is no shrine here i mean this is a I temple isn't it to be at your service, am i missing something no can't even can't zoom in okay what brings you to molagmar outlander ah he sells the potion seller still talk to me Cure blight disease, there we have it. I want to buy just, well, let me buy it. Let me see if I have a spell first. That would be very, very, very stupid of me. Yes. Oh, that is cure on others. Cure others, cure common disease. Cure blight disease on self, chance 0%. Seems like I need to go to sleep. Is there something you need? Not in this bed. Not in these you either. Talk too much, Outlander. I actually should shouldn't I be able to sleep in the temple because I am a member. I am blessed. Weird. To your service, I'm going to buy one of the potions. I need to remember that I can kill myself. That was a little bit stupid, maybe. Nope, I should use both hands to enter the word cure. 
and I'm just going to buy not two, I'm just going to buy one which is control click. Which is exactly the what amount of gold that I have. There we go. Now I can recall. Why can't I? Oh yes, because I have... I have uh, still filtered them. That's why I can't scroll recall. Really? Let me see, do I have Magicka potions? I don't want to do this. No, of course not. I put them away already. Grumble, 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 grumble. It means, I mean, we, we are faster now, I but it means I need to yourself. run over to that place, which does suck a lot. Wait a second, is there? There is no maiden, no guild or something here. It's just the temple. Not going to jump down because I'm afraid to die right now. I mean, as a kitty, I should have reduced um, falling damage. I think I have a high athletics value even, which is what does this. If I, I think if I go to local, will it show me the? Only shows the current place. So you want something? The question is, I would have been here, so it would be it would have been this road here, I think. This mount ah it's on Mount Asianibibi where the quest is. Well, I'm just going to go far enough away to be able to do this and then recall and now I'm here. Oh, you need to press take, okay. That was... should do this. Okay, so now let's put that back on this and this and this I think I'm rating 22 and I still have everything nice so now I know that I can heal myself Provided that I can sleep. Yeah, they are all blighted here, Mount Kund. Really? <sighs> well, let us real quick head to Mount Kund and see if we can find the stuff of Magnus there. And if we can't, then. Um, then I need to figure out if I can open the save game in an editor and search for it because I'm not going to run around and check everywhere where I could have put it. So I'm going to if I'm going to hide the quest then so we don't run there again and again and again not finding the stuff because I've already removed it that would be also really stupid. Oh, wait a second, I need to put the glass down, I need to fight. There, let us... Oh, I need to find a bed, I'm too close to the city now. There. I want to drink something. And yes, I've seen the red that we are heading towards. I 
And even though we are wearing armor, our unarmored skill increased. This is because the rat hit a place where there was no armor. So I guess the the game does a hit area dice roll or something like that. Pretty sure all of you now say, Oh, you're so stupid, you've been to Mount Kant, and for this and that reason, you couldn't go there. Well, mind you, that um, I record a few episodes at a time, and then I don't record at all for a long time, so I might have forgotten. This is why I, what I have this to do list for. So basically, the stupidity was to not put the reason into the to do list, to not mark what I need to do before I can actually go there and finish the quest because I know of my stupidity or rather not stupidity I know of my forgetfulness so I should be able to prepare for it I mean as I said I, I specifically wrote this to-do list software for streaming for this specific reason I can imagine that what had happened is that we're basically somewhere here and it's like east of Mount Kand um, and, and that they say we want to go to Mount Kand and we would have had to go around or something like that. So um, we'll see. I have again contracted a disease. It is straining agility. I'm going to cure. Cure common disease. It should be a common disease. Yes, it was. And let us real quick. Let's heal up again, and then go into the cavern of Mount Kand. I'm pretty sure we've been in here, and we have not found the stuff. Or we found it, and as I said, we sold it. Uh, then we should check Ravier, the trader. Yeah, this is... This is the one with the riddle. And I'm pretty sure we did the riddles already. So let me just head on. Let me just ignore these. Of course, it could be that we gave the Staff of Magnus to the temple. Then I would say this is a bug. A scripting bug, basically, because... Um, the quest should not start if it can't be finished. The quest or, or there should be a different text. On the other hand, in like in reality, if Azura didn't know that I gave the stuff to someone else, then it's obvious that she would send me here, right? Back up here. And this is the shrine where we made the offering. Fortifying endurance and intelligence. Just need. But it's not. I don't see the stuff of Magnus here. But let's let's check a bit closer. So the map is indicating that there is something here, but I assume this is just like this thing here, which I'm yeah, exactly. Okay. So I'm using my cat sense basically. Let's see if the last cavern has a different exit. More exits. This one. Especially underwater. No, there 
there is nothing underwater. Okay. Good. So let's see what does the map say. The map says I should go more in this direction. Just to have a map flow. It looks like there's something there. But that was deceiving. I assumed that it was, but um, before we search and search and search. So he, he won't attack us unless we do the riddle thing or attack him. So this is a, okay. Great. The map is not fully loaded, that it's perfect. So this is the ice guy, and he does not have any exits beside that one. Or beside that bridge, and there's also no other that way here. Of course, Ashira did not say that it was in the caverns. This is deadly. I don't know of any spell that lets me walk in lava, on lava, or or at least swim swim or dive in lava actually would be what I'd need. So it seems like the cavern in Mount Kand is not where the stuff of Magnus is. So this means I'm going to look up where it actually is. Just to see if it should have been here, and I should check other places that I might have sold it to. Okay. Well, that was not very fruitful, but um, still, this is the end of the episode, so I wish you a very good week, and we see each other next Morrowind Monday. Bye-bye! Special Flora of Tamriel by Hardin, the Herbalist. The poppy, in both black and white varieties, may be found growing wild in the mountains of Hammerfell. The succulent pots are often the only nourishment for adventurers who find themselves in the wilderness without rations. It is said that black and white poppies imbibed together have magical properties. When they are crushed and mixed with the milk of the agile-footed mountain goat, the resulting potion allows the user to glide safely above ground. Firefern, a perennial herb, is native to the province of Morrowind. The flowers are inconspicuous and often hidden. The glossy evergreen foliage and blossoms are resistant to conditions of high heat and bright light. A petal from this plant placed under the adventurous tongue will provide protection from the heat and fire of the lava pits and thermal streams around Dagoth Ur. Dragon's tongue, a common name for a fern-like herb found in black marsh, is especially prolific around the area of the Othurus Swamp. It is a beautiful wildflower whose name comes from the fire-red fronds that protect its golden efflorescences. As pretty as it is, however, it is a deadly poison to most living beings and needs to be avoided by adventurers, especially unprotected ones, as it's lethal to the touch. It's said, however, that Argonians can handle the plant and use the sap derived from its roots to enhance their endurance. Domica redwort is an herb grown by many residents of Valenwood for their beautiful and showy flowers. They attain a height of about three feet and sport feathery leaves. The flowers are usually bright red. In addition to their beauty, they are said to have the magical ability of enhancing the appearance of everyone who carries or wears one of the blooms. Ironwood nut is a hard shelled fruit that comes from the ironwood trees growing deep in the forests of Skyrim. The wood of these trees is as hard as the metal to which it is named. The very rare black variety of ironwood is said to produce a nut which is very succulent and believed to greaten the strength of the adventurer who is able to crack its shell and partake of it. The ginkgo leaves, which are found along the banks of rivers and lakes in Hammerfell, are more since conspicuous, only their peculiar half-moon shape making them noticeable. The edible foliage is very sweet and quite tasty. Legend has it that when mixed properly with the pulp of the aloe plant, the resulting concoction has the ability of increasing one's stamina for a short while. The Somnalius fern can be found in the swamps of Black Marsh. 
The fronds of this plant are light green and quite delicate. Picking a frond can be very difficult as they usually crumble to the touch, but once retrieved it can be used to put an enemy to sleep for a short while by passing it under his nose. Arrowroot is a thick rubbery tuber that can be found in the province of Valenwood. The plant is quite difficult to find as its above ground foliage is very meager and scrawny, but the root itself can be most beneficial to the gatherer as it has magical properties. The paste made from grinding the root is quite wholesome and can improve the user's accuracy with a bow and arrow or other missile weapon. Nightshade is reputed to be a very poisonous herb. However, the variety found in many parts of elsewhere is cherished by the Khajiits who've taken up careers in thievery. Many Khajiits will tuck a piece of nightshade inside their armor to increase their abilities to skulk, hide and become invisible.